Welcome back friends. In this video, we're going to learn about how to implement our own filter function. In the last video, we saw that how we can write our own code and make our own map function. So if you want to check, you can check the last video. In this video, we will discover how we can write our own filter. So we have an array of integers. I will write fil array dot filter, and you can see that it returns an array of integers, which is the type of the array and a label of in is included uh, which has an int returns a pool so how we can write this type of function and you know if we want to write on our own so let's begin first the same step which we did in map extension of a collection and here i will return i will write the name of the function as my filter okay now what the syntax of this filter is it is taking the type of an element and returning the same so this filter function is a bit different from map function so let's proceed there is a label is included and it has a element type which has a which will return pool and this whole function will return the array of element and we have a, a score here now we are doing the same thing we took results in our when we developed our own map function here also we'll take the results of element that's it for element in self self is the collection for which we are querying here we are querying for array and now the thing change will be that if that closure uh, yields a uh, positive means it yields a true result then only we will include those result into the result array so fine so it's like if is included and what is the element here if it returns true the condition meets then we have to append the results to the results array and that will be element and finally we can where this we can return the results so that's all let us see that again filter any element like here we have a int and it accepts an element so that is an element here again and it returns an element that is an element again and uh, earlier you have seen that in map we have a t because uh, if you write map it was actually returning a t irrespective of the type that there was an element here but in case of filter there is no generic type the type of the array is returned so we have to use element in both the cases so element is here in this closure and the return type is also element now the internal implementation of filter is like if the closure is satisfied or basically the condition is satisfied then only the results are appended so here the result array is an element array and if everything is well condition is meeting then that as that is appended and return as a result so that is the complete array which is returning as a part of the filter function of the same type so if we see if we write uh, in this filter uh, in this array the uh, default filter function and let us see, write like we are printing only the even numbers so there's a condition that will return something and let us write that in an answer and just print that answer run the application see what happens 
246 so that is the default implementation provided by apple of the filter function now let us use our function here my filter and that's it and i'll run that again it's running and the result is same now let's change the implementation inside here and i will just filter out the odd elements you can see one three five are filtered out let us do some more things like uh, let us filter the elements which are greater than three so four five six so we can use the complete closure as well if you want to do more than one line implementation so it's like this and item and we can check here whatever you want to do item is divisible by two or item is like uh, greater than four anything you want any condition you want you can write like this it supports uh, multiple lines if you want to write something else otherwise you can just write the plain closure thing which i wrote earlier so it will work as the default filter function which we uh, see in our uh, iOS SDK so this is the basic implementation of my filter function the filter function so that's it for the video I hope you have learned something out of it uh, and that actually uh, it really helped me to you know get myself clear on the basic note and that how actually the functions are designed by Apple and how we can implement those functions it's really cool to filter out those things and uh, you know rewrite those functions that will really help to understand the logic even more so that's all for the video thank you so much for watching if you have any suggestions please uh, you know leave us comments do subscribe me for the new content thank you so much